How fast is Samsung's Exynos 9610 toting Galaxy A50 when compared to the Snapdragon 675 toting Redmi Note 7 Pro? Well, let's find out in today's speed test. Hey guys, Ash here from C4E Tech and let's get started. If you do end up liking this video, please don't forget to turn on notifications by hitting that bell icon. Before we start, here's a poll. Choose your predictions. Let's see if you get it right. Now, as always, there are going to be two tests and we begin with the less intense one. Both phones are connected to the same wireless network and there are no apps running in the background. Let's go ahead and start the stopwatch. Opening up Super Mario Run, the Galaxy A50 loads it up faster. The Note 7 Pro does take back the lead as it loads Subway Surfers faster. The Note 7 Pro finishes the test in 53 seconds and the Galaxy A50 takes 3 seconds more. Moving on to RAM management, both phones have all the apps in memory and the Note 7 Pro completes the entire test in a minute 12, while the A50 again takes 3 seconds more. Let's now move on to a heavier test with a few more wraps, heavier games, and we are gonna also add a video render to the mix. We are using the Video Shop app today, so loading up the same clip, getting it to 30% and keeping it ready to render. Let's now start the stopwatch. Opening up PUBG, the Note 7 Pro loads it faster. The Note 7 Pro flies ahead and moves on to Temple Run 2. Redmi Note 7 Pro flies ahead and renders the video, while the A50 is still trying to catch up. The Note 7 Pro completes the lap in a minute 44, while the A50 takes about 5 seconds more. Moving on to RAM management, over here the A50 is just taking the lead. Now it's managed to keep all apps in memory. The A50 finishes the round in 2 minutes 20 seconds. The 
Fortnite 7 Pro reloads Temple Run 2 and PUBG and it finishes the round in 3 minutes and 8 seconds. Now it's worth mentioning that the A50 we've used in this video is the 6GB RAM variant while the Note 7 Pro is the 4GB variant. I know, I know it is unfair and there should be parity but the Note 7 Pro just went on sale today and we weren't able to get the 6GB variant. Now let us know if you want me to test this again once we get our hands on the 6GB Note 7 Pro, I will be happy to do so. So now let's reboot the phones before getting to the conclusion. It's kind of surprising to see One UI crank up Samsung speed so much. In the past with Samsung experience and God forbid, touch was before that Samsung speed, you know, it was always the issue. Doesn't seem that way anymore. Both phones were equally fast here with of course, with the Redmi and the Snapdragon 675 holding on to the lead for the most part, only losing out where the A50 actually had an unfair advantage. So. I guess that's pretty much it for the speed test. What do you want to see next? A camera comparison between these two, a full comparison, or what kind of comparisons, a speed test, or camera comparisons, what do you want to see? Let me know via the comments below and I'll try to get that done. So I guess that's it. Please share this video with friends and family if you can. Thumbs up, thumbs down based on whatever you felt about it. Subscribe, turn on notifications by hitting that bell icon if you haven't yet. And if you've not watched either of these videos or checked out our other channel, FTJ, do that right now. Thanks a lot for watching. Till next time, my name's Ash. You've been watching C4 Retech, and I'm signing off for now. You guys have a great day. Bye bye.